Praise the Lord. Welcome to our brief Bible reflections. This is the day that the Lord has made with you rejoice and be glad in it. God is good and gracious. We put our trust in Him. This God never fails. We are reading from the book of Romans, chapter 1. Yesterday we read verse 1 to 7, where we saw Paul clearly speaking about the gospel that he is God's servant. He is called to share or to preach the gospel. And uh, he's holding this good news and sharing as directed by the Lord. The same portion he talks about the Son of God, Jesus Christ our Savior, and reminds these people that now you are beloved, you belong, you have been included as well, you have been called to belong to Jesus Christ. And as he writes to them, he reminds them that the Father is able to give them grace and peace. With all these, in verse number 8 to 10, we pick our second lesson where Paul writes and says, Let me say first that I thank my God through Jesus Christ for all of you because your faith in him is being talked about all over the world. God knows how often I pray for you day and night. I bring you and your needs in prayer to God. God whom I serve with all my heart by spreading the good news about his son. Verse 10, one of the things I always pray for is the opportunity, God willing, to come at last to see you. Praise be to God. This is a very good uh, letter to read. And uh, as these brethren received this letter, Paul talks, uh, talked about their faith, that he thanks God through Jesus Christ, for all these brethren, because their faith was being talked about all over the world. They were a testimony. Paul was happy, even as he wrote to them. And number two, he's telling them that God knows how often I pray for you, you know, day and night, how I bring your needs in prayer to God, the God whom I serve, with all my heart. I have you at heart. I pray for you. I mention you and your needs as I spread the good news about Jesus Christ. You are in my prayer list. This is very encouraging. And sometimes God calls us to be, you know, a blessing to our loved ones, to our friends, where God gives us a burden to pray for them. Sometimes we need to hear that, yes, there is somebody who is praying for me. And because God is faithful, he will always, always raise somebody to stand with you in prayer. Paul encourages these people that I pray for you and God knows. So it's no secret. It is not, uh, you know, pretentious. It is true. I pray for you and God knows how much, how often I pray for you day and night. I present your needs to him. Verse number 10, Paul tells these people, one of the things I always pray for, one of the things I always pray for is an opportunity, the opportunity God willing to come at last to see you. He is underlining that my coming to see you lies with God. And so I pray for this opportunity because I want to be in the will of God, not just to come for the sake of coming, but coming in the will of God. And brothers and sisters, it is good to align ourselves in the will of God. You know what we do? Paul is teaching us that it is good to align ourselves in the will of God. And when it happens like so, great joy comes upon you and me, involving God in all what we do, desiring to fit in God's perfect will. 
And so Paul helps us to see that he has a burden for these people, but he will not force himself to go against the will of God. He wants prayerfully to involve God. The Lord is reminding us that our faith must be that faith that can be talked about all over the world. Two, today we have Jesus Christ who intercedes for us. He stands in the gap. And at the same time, God will always raise people to pray for us as he did with Paul for the church in Rome. Finally, fit in God's perfect will. May the Lord bless you. God keep you. Have a lovely time. Shalom.